Hi. So recently, I have been interested in trying some plein air painting with watercolor. However, I don't have any uh, plein air watercolor equipment to try it out with. And I was looking online and found a setup for like $200 or so and another easel and shelf that fits on a camera tripod for like $130 or $40, something like that, which is still a little too much for me just to try this out with. So, looking further online, I ran across Brian Ashmore Studio, and he had made a little uh, easel, and it inspired me to to uh, try to make one similar to his. If you look for Brian Ashmore Studio on YouTube, you can see uh, his ideas. He has several other ideas than I have, but I've added an additional shelf that he doesn't have. So that's a great place to look and see what he did and get inspired. So this is what I have come up with. The easel is very sturdy, and you can put a half sheet watercolor paper on there, tape it down, clamp it, whatever you do. Um, you could also put a watercolor block on there, paint on the watercolor block. Um, if you need something different size or shape or proportion, you can always tape down some paper to a piece of gator board and put that on there. If you need to keep it from flying away in the wind, you can use a couple of clamps. But I think it's a great little easel and very easy to make. And here's how I did it. This easel is actually a drawing board that you get in just about any art supply store. It comes with a handle on the side and a clamp up at the top to carry your, to uh, clamp your paper in. So there are two rivets holding the clamp on and you take your drill and drill the tops out of the rivets and move the clamp. And you got the board and the handle. So what you need in order to um, attach this to your easel is a T-nut. And you can get these from a hardware store. I'll show you what they look like. This is a T-nut. I think there are like four of them in a bag. One quarter inch, dash 20 by five sixteenths inch. And they look like this. There's a shaft and then some little teeth that stick out. And so you drill a hole for the shaft and you hammer the teeth in and you you've got uh, a way to attach it to your camera tripod so my camera has a quick release um, has a quick release part so when you drive the T-nut through it's the shaft is actually longer than the board is thick so it sticks out some. So before I drilled a hole in here I had a little piece of scrap wood that I glued on so that it ended up being flush. Now if you don't have a thin piece of scrap wood laying around, which you probably don't, you could just use a couple of layers of mat board. Just glue them together, glue them down, and 
that would work work fine. If you just want something uh, a smooth flat surface so you can attach your quick release tube. So, that is that for that part, and it goes on just like that. The bar across the bottom uh, is a piece of one half inch square dowel, again from Home Depot. This was under two dollars. It comes in 36 inch length and I used it a few places and had this much left over. So you just cut the length that you want of your square dowel and then use a bit of wood glue, a couple of clamps, And there you go. You've got a nice bar. When that dries, it's solid. It's not going to move. Um, so the the whole easel setup uh, cost about ten bucks with the board and the peanut and the wood. Second part is the shelf, and the shelf is just a little bit more tricky because it involves a little bit of sawing, but it's not that hard. Again, guess what? Another drawing board with the handle and the clamp at the top. Drilled out the top of the rivets, took the clamp off. The tricky part is making this hole and cutting out the back so that will slide over your legs and as it drops down the width of this hole determines how far down on the tripod is going to go so I wanted to make sure that the shelf didn't was about as high as I could get it and it didn't drop down too low when you put it on. So I took a piece of mat board and made a template. So I uh, drew and cut and came up with something that I thought worked pretty well. And uh, when I was happy with how I thought that would work. I just transferred that to the drawing board and penciled it on there and then cut it out using a coping saw. This is a coping saw. has really fine teeth and it's easy to use. You can actually cut and turn corners with this. It actually works really well. It's, it's fairly easy to cut. This is the material these are made out of is MDF, which is a wood type product. And once it's cut, you can take sandpaper and smooth out any rough lines and round off any corners and end up with just a really nice nice piece that uh, you make your shelf out of. The only other thing you have to do is add a couple of braces that go on back and are flush with the hole. This allows it to go over a tripod and when you put it on these braces 
hit against the back of your legs and gives it some support and keeps it nice and flat so it doesn't flop down and sag. So we got a shelf. Shelf cost again about 10 bucks. Whole thing together under $20. I can put my colors on there. Get my water. My uh, tripod has a little notch that I could fit a binder clip on. So I have a binder clip here and I can just clip on my water bottle. So all that's left is to have that dab, paint, 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 go out and make things my paper dirty. So I hope this will inspire you or help you to get an idea of how to make an inexpensive easel and shelf. Uh, give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching. Bye.